Hey yo, what's up everybody, welcome back to a brand new video on my channel, I hope that you're all having an amazing day. So if you're a part of the Oso community, you know that sometimes you can see some rather weird and stupid stuff in the community, from hacking accusations, borderline harassment sometimes. A lot of people also like to downplay certain top players just because they don't like the change of certain stuff. But the most ironic part is when the Oso community completely does a 360 switch on their opinion on certain players. Based off of the thumbnail of the video, I think you know what I'm going to talk about. Before we get started, I suggest that you prepare your popcorn because this is going to get rather interesting. If you've been part of the Osa community for a pretty long time, then you certainly have heard of a player by the name of Mathy. For those of you that don't know, Mathy is currently the number one player from Chile and also used to be the number one player overall in Osu. In today's day and age, Mathy is a well-respected player within the Osa community, known for his versatility in skills, from setting some really crazy scores on finger control maps and even speed maps to DT aim and even being able to set crazy scores on nomad maps as well. Then again he is able to do stuff like that because from the very start of his career he was a nomad hidden hard rock player. But as time was passing by and also the meta was slowly but surely shifting towards DT maps. And like everyone else Matthew was practicing that and he was able to farm hidden DT maps. I mean even at the start of 2018 the PP record was literally set on a map with hidden DT. We all know Rafis's PP records on Necrofantasia. However, at the time, Rafis was well known in the community and respected for also having versatility. Matthew, on the other hand, was still somewhat not relatively known in the community, but he slowly but surely started to make a name for himself when he started to climb up the rankings with various hidden DT scores. And after some time, he eventually did manage to get the number one spot in Osu. Achieving that on the 15th of April 2018, the score that you're watching in the background currently. And this is where the problem starts. Matthew was getting mass hate from two sides in the community, one of the people saying that he was a cheater for some reason, and the other saying that he doesn't deserve the spot that he got just because he managed to achieve it with farm maps. Which is pretty ironic considering that almost every single top player even at that time were farming hidden DT maps. I mean even if you go on the comment section of that video where Matthew reaches number one, you can just see the irony of the Osu community simply by this comment right here. I don't get this community, people get mad for top 10 players not caring about PP and now they get mad at the only guy in the top 10 that cares about PP. As a result of the toxic nature and all the hate that Mathy has gotten during his rank 1 dominance, Mathy has completely stopped playing in 2019 and we would only see what Mathy was actually capable of one year later once he decided to come back to the game. And that's a question that will never be answered. What if Mathy simply didn't stop grinding and continue to prove his dominance? Well, the irony of all this is that in 2023, after proving to the community just how much of a good player he can be, people actually get hyped whenever Matthew decides to farm. Which is the ironic part because people absolutely despised him when he started farming and now they're suddenly a cheering for him. The real question is, has the Osu community learned from Matthew's story to this day? Some people may say yes, but to be honest, I would say no. I think that the Osu community is still the same even 5 years later. Just look at Emrex's story for example and how much he was downplayed once he got number 1. Even afterwards, when he proved that he is not just a one trick in the Oso community, people were still downplaying his scores because he was just that dominant. Like, I can guarantee you that you've seen this type of comment under any Emrek score. I mean, other than Emrek, even a Kulibet is getting downplayed, believe it or not. Because once he was climbing up the rankings back in 2019 or 20, he was being called an aim one trick. Now, two years later, he's actually being called a speed one trick. You see the irony of what I'm saying right now? That's for downplaying players. What about cheating? accusations and stuff like that. So this still might be happening to this day as well. However, for this certain case, it's still unknown. Seven months ago, when I premiered the blue thumbnails for Osu News, I talked about a certain player that was getting accusated by the community, but never actually proven that he actually cheated. That is a player by the name of Soaboat. Other than suspicious screenshots that were shown on the aim assist report that could have potentially be caused by a tablet bug, there was no any other additional information about his case, and seven months since the discussion, he still hasn't been banned in Osu. And since then, he hasn't really had any motivation to continue playing the game, because let's be real, he will most likely get harassed or accusated further on. However, if he's truly not cheating and prove himself once again to the community that he's actually a really skilled player, then we may or may not see another Mathy case which would bring back the irony of the Osu community once again. Which is the whole theme about this video. People just simply complain about everything that is happening in the Osu community.
community and they can absolutely never mind their own business and the most sad part about this story is that there will always be people complaining about stuff like this and it's just a never-ending cycle who knows when we will see an end to this downplaying and accusating thing in the community just let me know your thoughts down in the comments do you agree with the stuff i say do you disagree maybe with it and also if you want to see more discussion videos then drop a sub to the channel but yeah that's essentially it everything for today thank you so much for watching really hope you enjoyed and i'll see you in the next video bye bye